Whether or not you're making a bolt or a nut or you're just recreating Wally, uh, you might need to know how to make a rusty texture. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, first things first, we're going to delete the cube, the camera, and the light, just as always, using middle mouse button to pan around my scene, and shift and the middle mouse button to move around like that. We're going to drag open this giant panel over here. I'm also going to hit this uh, plus button to scroll down and turn on my screencast keys, which I will leave the plugin down in the description since Blender has removed that feature. All right, so I'm going to drag this panel open over here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go to File, User Preferences. And since I'm going to be using a bolt for the tutorial, I'm going to type in Bolt uh, and make sure that Bolt Factory is checked. It will be unchecked, so make sure you check that. And this drop down should say that pretty much. And make sure you hit Save User Settings, or else it won't save. So we can close that now. And pretty much, we're going to hit Shift-A, Mesh, and then go down to Bolt. Before you click off of this and go anywhere and mess this up, we want to uh, go down here and make sure all of our settings are correct. I'm going to use the default Bolt, but a few things you can do is you can change uh, to, a, for, to different kinds of Bolts. Of course, that would be like a giant Bolt. Um, and the default is the one I'm going to be using. You can change to, the, uh, to a Nut. You can change to a Nut, to a Bolt, uh, to the Allen or the Phillips Head, of course, hex dome pan all that kind of stuff but i'm using a regular bolt for the sake of this tutorial we're going to close that down again once again all right so bring one of my numpad and five to go into orthographic mode add in a camera or hit shift a camera and we're going to drag that on back to our scene i uh, hit five to go out of orthographic and zero to go into our camera's view i'm going to move this camera around so we can get a better view of the uh, of the bolt, so I'm going to hit double tap R on my keyboard to move the camera freely, G to move it around, and I'm going to go over here to the camera uh, tab and use the focal length to zoom on into the uh, to the to the to the bolt, something about like like that, and hit R Y, get a better angle of the bolt, something like that. Zoom in a bit more. All right, so that looks pretty good like that. We're going, to, we're going to split our window here to drag it into two different pieces with this triangle down here. I'm going to get rid of this piece and uh, and drag it open a bit more. Using our our little uh, box down here, this little tab, we're going to go to the node editor and get rid of that because we don't need it. With our, with our bolt selected, we're going to add a new material or we can select the one that we already have, which we'll do. So I'm going to switch over to cycles render now because that's, we're, that's what we're going to be using. I'm going to hit use nodes. And we have our basic diffuse texture here. So now we're going to actually add a uh, add texture and go to image texture. We're going to add that in and connect the color to the color. So now since we ha don't have a texture open, we're going to have to open one. I'm going to be using this texture right here. I will leave the link down in the description. We're going we're gonna to enter on that to open it up. And now as you can tell, it did nothing. The, our texture is not applied to our bolt, and that is because we only said that we wanted it to interact with the diffuse, but we did not actually put the texture on the bolt. The way we do this is we drag open this little tab down here and split our window with a triangle, and select this cube and go to the UV image editor. This is where we can actually add in our texture, so we'll do that right now. We'll, we'll hit this uh, box and we'll select our uh, rust texture. Very large image, so we'll scroll that down a little bit, and we'll also hit tab on our bolt. And we'll hit this plus open and go to tools, the tool tab up here, and scroll all the way down to remove doubles. This just removes all of the double vertices that we had on the bolt. As you can tell up there, it said it removed 31 vertices. Now if we hit it again, it says it removed zero vertices. Um, so that's pretty much just getting rid of all the double, all the double vertices that were on all these singular points. So now we don't need that. We cleaned it up. So if we double tap A, we can select all of our vertices. And if we go down here, if we hit tab. Uh, excuse me. If we uh, hit U in our uh, in our on our bolt and hit Smart UV Project, we can hit OK, and now our texture should appear down here. Um, so if we tap A, now we can move around our texture, but you can see it's not doing much because we need to be on texture mode. Now you can see our texture on the bolt. Super cool stuff, right? But as you can tell, there's some weird there's some weird clipping and stretching, so we don't need that. So we're gonna move around our texture until we get it to about where we want it uh so i'm gonna go something about always look from your camera's view uh so you can see what exactly what the camera's gonna see uh, i'm gonna go for something something like that i guess we'll move it down a little bit yeah i like the way that looks if you want to get a bit closer uh, on your on your mesh you can always hit period on your numpad there so now that we have that set up as you can tell down here if you look close 
there is, is a weird repetition going on with our texture and that does not look realistic at all. So the way we can fix this is we can we need to find out what uh, what vertices these this part of this texture is down here. The way we do that is we hit five on our numpad and one to go into the front facing view. And we're going to hit B on our keyboard to select box select uh, these vertices right here. These vertices belong to these portions of our jumbled up mesh of all of this. <laughs> so that's pretty much what we're doing. We're finding out which vertices up here belong to these down here. So we're going to move these around. Hit G and we'll just move them around. As you can tell, now it doesn't look so repetitive. We're going to do that a couple of times. So we're going to select all of these and we're going to hit G. But as you can tell, it's only changing the front side. That's not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll on over to our uh, this little box right here. And we're going to we're gonna make sure that's on. So now we can select the textures from front and back. So I'm going to undo that. And we're going to redo uh, everything we just did. All right. So now we're going to hit that cube and make sure it's on. It's on. Now we can see all the vertices front and back. And we're going to do that once again. So I'm going to change all these around. And I'll be back in a second when we have a bit more, uh, bit less repetition. <laughs> You actually might want to use plane select mode to get a better, uh, to get some some better results, so you can select all of the planes that belong to that one uh, screw. All right, so that looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. You can always go and fix those. Uh, I'm not going to do that for the purpose of the tutorial. I might fix a couple of them, but uh, you might want to keep that in mind. But for the tutorial, I'm going to move on now. And, and who said rusty screws were were right? You know, who who said rusty bolts were perfect? Nobody, nobody ever said that. So uh, I, I want to actually get rid of that little giant black piece that we have right there that didn't, that didn't look too good. So I moved that all around. We have our bolt, but it looks a bit flat. So what we're gonna fix this is we're gonna add in our bump texture. The way we can do this is we can go over here to our image texture and hit add, uh, and then we'll go to vector bump, and we'll add in that bump right there. So now what we have is we can select this, we can ch get, grab this color and put this into the height. So if we duplicate our diffuse texture and move that down, and duplicate our bump texture and move that down we can add in a mix shader in between the diffuse and the material and connect that up and connect the uh, bump to the diffuse let's set up our light so you can see a bit better what's going on so we're going to add in a sun lamp and move it about right there just a really quick lighting setup now what we have uh with our diffuse with our bump texture here sorry uh if we if we put the image color into the height right here if we connect that up like that you can ignore these two for now actually let's get rid of those so it doesn't confuse a bit uh, a bit more that's later on all right so now if we uh if we have our image texture and our bump texture so we're going to add in the color to the height the normal to the normal of the diffuse and the color of the image texture to the diffuse of the uh to the, to the color of the diffuse so now we have our bump texture but as you can tell it's very bumpy and it's not very realistic so we're going to change the distance to about uh, 0 0.03 0 0.005 yeah that looks a bit better i like that all right there i think that looks pretty good so move that about right there now we have a bit more of the uh a bit more of the grunge over here which looks pretty nice um, and we can now uh, move on to the second part of the bump mapping. So we can duplicate the bump and the diffuse like we had earlier, connect the normal to the normal. And we'll connect the color to the height again. And we'll add in the shader, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, mix shader, and add that in between the diffuse, the, mi the mix shader, between the diffuse and the material output. Uh, and add in that second diffuse right there. As you can tell, this turns solid white, which does not look too good. So actually, we're going to unconnect that uh, that height for a second. And we're going to add in a the converter color ramp and add that in right there. Add the color to the height. And then we can change around these values. So now this white and this black is pretty much telling us how much, how harsh we want this to be. So now that we have our white texture on here, we can actually take the color ramp color and plug that into the diffuse right there. And as you can tell, we have the brighter, the brighter white spots, making it look like the rust has completely uh, been, been shredded off of those areas. So I think that looks pretty good. Uh, that's pretty much it for our rusty texture uh, tutorial here for this bolt. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be it. I might move this, these lighting, this lighting a bit. There is our bolt. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out a little bit. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Uh, you can always check out my video on render settings uh, if you need to know how to render your scene. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye.